Hi guys, in the previous video, we had seen how a five number summary is used in descriptive analysis or during the preliminary investigation of large data set. It shows us five values, the most extreme values in the data set, that is maximum and minimum values, the lower and upper quartiles and the median. In this video, first we will extract the data points lying within a given range. And to do so, we have written this small function. So what does this function do? It takes two ranges from and to and all the values, all the data points falling within those two ranges will be shown to us. So, for example, if we write something like this, show data, NP percentile X 25. And if we write like this, and if we are not giving two range, by default, two range will be max. So, let us run this. Okay. So, it is starting from 25th percentile and till the last data point. Of course, the entire data set will be in ascending order. And then look, we are sorting it. So from 25th onwards, right? So from right from here to this point, we are seeing that. Since we did not give two, we can give two as well. So like what we'll do? Percentile X and we can give look 50 that is nothing but median right the second quartile so let's see three 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 four five six six so how system is how this function is treating we are saying that within 25th and 50th percentile all the data points should be shown so this is what it is now we can as well write 75 right let me create some space here okay and here what we can write 75th so from 25th to 75th percentile these are the data and of course we can also say something like this 75th and we will not give upper range so these are the data points from 75th percentile onward and 75th percent that means it is inclusive right whatever we are writing those are inclusive so from and to will be included so this is how we can look at the data points why look if the data set is very large of course this box plot will show us but it will only give us an idea of the data it will not show us the data points as such and if it is very large it will not be helpful say for example we would like to see what are the data points from first quartile to third quartile i mean there could be many there could be 100 there could be 1000 there could be 10000 data points but we want to see in the graph it will be just like this right i mean there will be x axis i mean it is given but it will not be helpful so with this function we can extract those information okay we are also doing another thing now if you want to see outliers right here only two outliers are there, upper outliers are only two and lower outlier is just one. Assuming that we have hundreds of outliers, then what we would like to see, we would like to see the data points, the values. For that, we have written this function. Now, what does this function do? It is going to give us outliers. See here, minus 50 is lower outlier and 40 and 70 this 40 and 70 they are upper outliers okay 
So now what we will do is, it is working fine, but let us bring some data set. So we have Seaborn module. It has got mini data set. So we are bringing in tips data set and we will use these, you know, show data as well as show outliers. But before that, we will do something else as well. Okay, this is our data set named tips. Okay, now what we can do? Let us run this and this time we are bringing in two additional values. Okay, what are those? Box plot gives us mean as well. That is average of the data set. Look, show mean is equal to true. If we write like this, we will get this. Okay. So this is nothing but average of this data set. And what is this? Look, this is coming out of this line. AXV line NP dot. This is STD, standard deviation. For what? The column total bill. Look, this is data. Total bill is a variable for which we are trying to find out what is the standard deviation. So this is what is the standard deviation. Something like, look, let us look at this. What is the value? 8.88. Look, 8.88. So we are seeing a standard deviation. We are seeing mean. We are seeing median. We are seeing uh, quartile 1, quartile 3. We are seeing outliers. Only upper outliers are there. There is no lower outlier. Okay. So, now we want to see the data points. Okay. So, graph may not help, right? Suppose we have thousands of outliers, but we want to see the data points. This graph may not help. Look here. We don't know how many outliers are being represented by these overlapped circles. So we will run this. So what is happening? The first empty list says that there are no lower outliers. But second list is full of data points. So these are our outliers for this given univariate that is nothing but total bill okay so this is how we can make use of this function that we have written right to look at the outliers okay now let us do something more with box plot which we have not done so far so let me bring this here so when we run this, we are running this only for one variable that is total bill. But this data set has got many variables, right? So we will now run create box plot for this and for this tip and then for this size because these are numeric columns. So we can draw box plot for all these variables so how we can go about it so first we will run for two so first is total bill and then we'll say data tip second column which is the second column in this column okay let us run this but you know what we will not get standard deviation for this tip column because we are not writing but that is fine. Let us run this and just see how it works. Okay. So this is about total bill. This is about tip. Now, if we want to see standard deviation for tip as well, then what we will do? We can simply write here. Okay. And maybe we can change the color so that we can see, okay, that belongs to a particular column so this is black okay and we can say here maybe we will say red yeah fine okay color 
okay here we should write okay total bill was correct i am sorry for that here i have to say tip okay yeah that was a mistake so here see this is red standard deviation for total bill this is standard deviation for tip and look here we have average for tip as well okay now can we include another column yes we can so what we will do is this time we will write data size okay and here again for size maybe we want to have standard deviation for size as well right so what we will do we will write size like this size is a reserved word mind you so that is why we are not writing data dot size okay and then here we can say green and then you'll run it okay look total bill tip size like this instantaneously we can get an insight into our data set we have included three columns we can include more than three columns right depending on what sort of data set we have and this gives us a clear picture of how data are there in our data set look here minimum value is three around maximum is around 40 there are outliers median is here and mean is around 20 whereas and of course standard deviation being somewhere around 9 and look what is the range look this is minimum for tip and maximum is here somewhere here right around 6 and then you also have outliers tip also has its own outliers upper outliers so these are the things and of course total bill so range is more i mean that is understandable tip will be you know five percent ten percent fifteen percent of total bill hence the range is much smaller and what is this size size is another column okay and what are the values there i mean maybe one i'm not sure one and it goes till four and there are outliers so of course we can see how that looks so we'll say data np unique data size look at this one two three four five six so what exactly we are getting out of this five number summary look we need not even explore this data set simply look at it and within a fraction of few seconds we can understand how different variables are having values right so their ranges outliers i mean lower outliers upper outliers standard deviation mean what is median and things like that okay of course first quartile second quartile third quartile right so this gives us an idea about the data and when we do descriptive analysis box plot is going to play a vital role thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video